Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be participating in a spring coffee table decor challenge for 2020 and it's hosted by Sewell from My Style, My Colors. So let's get going and I'll show you what I'm going to do for my coffee tables. Now for this challenge we have to have two completely different looks and what they have to entail is a tray, a light source, candles or fairy lights or something of that sort, and some flowers. That's what we need for our first look. Our second look, we need to have at least something that we have DIY'd in the past or specifically for this challenge. Now for mine, I am going to cover all of those things in both of my looks. So to begin with, as you can see, I'm using this wooden tray and I'm just putting that down and then I'm putting this little candelabra right here next to it. Now excuse my table, I know it's kind of scratched up and dinged up. It's gone through four kids and I know I really need to get a new one. Now here you see I'm gonna use this glittered egg and if you've watched any of my thrift hauls you may have seen me get this on one of my thrift hauls. A lot of the stuff I'm using I've gotten from the thrift store within the last few months. Now this vase right here is actually thrifted also but this I thrifted last year and I really love the texture on this vase. And the flowers that I'm using in this vase if you happen to watch last week when I did my Easter basket with flowers in it, these are some of the flowers that I had that I had thrifted and I did not use in the Easter basket. Now, if you've watched any of my things this year, you know that this bright green color that is my color for fall this year and I'm using it in almost everything I do and this is no exception. So I'm just taking a little bit of hydrangeas and these are from the Dollar Tree. I just pull them off from their bush or stem of hydrangeas and I'm using them just little pieces of them right along the bottom just to add that pop of color in and as you can see they go with my pillows that are on my couch and that green that is definitely my spring color this year. Now this, I also thrifted a couple weeks ago, and this is just a little stand that is a Pier 1 import stand. And I use it on several different things, several different DIYs. I'm so happy I got this little stand. Now this, this cute, adorable rabbit, I thrifted also. And I'm going to go ahead and leave a link up above if you want to see any of those thrift hauls and it will show you exactly how much I paid and when I got each one of these things. And now I'm just putting that sweet little rabbit right there on that tray next to our vase of flowers. I think she looks absolutely adorable there. Now I'm just going to add in one more little bunch of these hydrangeas right here to kind of tie that color in. This is a very simplistic look, but I absolutely love it. I think it's perfect for spring. Without going over the top, it adds in just that perfect touch of spring with the light, airy flowers, the wonderful Easter egg with the a absolutely adorable rabbit, the bright green colors, and then my candles here. And I absolutely love these candles. These two were also thrifted just a few weeks ago. Now for look two, I'm going to have that coming up here and look two is going to be inspired by Mackenzie Child. If you've watched my videos, you know that I am obsessed with Mackenzie Child's looks this year. So I've cleaned off the coffee table and now we're going to start by adding in a few Mackenzie Child type things. 
We're going to begin with a little square of this material in the check pattern. And I'm just going to set that off to one side. Next, I have a couple of these books, and these are just white books. I've used these on some other coffee table challenges, so you've seen those before. And I'm just going to use those as a little bit of a stand this time. Now here I have a little candlestick that I purchased, and you can see I got it for $1.25. And I'm going to go ahead and add that right there onto our checked pattern. And if you don't know anything about Mackenzie Child, definitely go check out their website. They have absolutely beautiful stuff, and it's very whimsical, black and white check. It's lovely. Now, this is a tray that I thrifted a few weeks ago. Actually, it's probably more like a month ago. And this was a Pier 1 import tray, and I sprayed it and made it pure white. It did not paint very well. It was only 12 degrees outside when I was outside trying to spray paint this tray. So it took like two days to dry, and it didn't take really well. So I definitely need to redo that one. But that's okay. We're not going to see a whole lot of those imperfections because I'm just going to take another piece of my fabric here and lay it right on top of my tray, just like that. And that looks good. Now this is a birdhouse that used to be my parents' birdhouse, and they had it in their home for several years. Friends of theirs made it for them, and I just, I love it. I cherish this birdhouse. It makes me think of my parents. I absolutely love having this around and it always brings a smile to my face. Now over here, I have this Mackenzie Child Rabbit that I painted along with some paper roses that I made. And I'll go ahead and put links up above if you wanna know how to make these paper roses or if you'd like to learn how to paint a rabbit like this. Now, once again, we're going to use this little Pier 1 import stand, and I'm just going to set it down here right underneath our birdhouse. And I'm going to go ahead and grab our egg candle that I used before, and you can just see the glittery part on the bottom of this. I also thrifted this a few weeks ago before we are all under lockdown and we couldn't go out. I'm so glad that I was able to get several different Easter items that I could use during this season. And this is another one of those. This little tiny birdhouse, I thought it was just adorable when I got it. And I had actually thought about painting it, but you know, I absolutely love the whimsiness of it. And with the Mackenzie Child look, having some flowers and kind of the different check along the bottom, except it's in multicolors, I think it looks just great with everything. Here's another rabbit that I purchased just a few weeks ago at the thrift store. And you've probably seen him in several of my different DIYs or my tablescapes and I'm using him a lot and he's just adorable. Now to add in a little more color I'm going to add in some sunflowers here and once again I thrifted these. I was able to purchase some sunflowers for a quarter a piece and so I got several sunflowers and on the bottom of our birdhouse here, our red birdhouse. It has white flowers and little sunflowers going along the bottom of it. And so the sunflowers just help really tie in to the flowers along the bottom of that birdhouse. And here's an even larger sunflower. And I still just picked this up for a quarter. And all I did was pop all these sunflowers off for most of their stems. And I'm just using the flower heads for the most part. 
And of course, I need to add in the screen. And if you've been watching or know anything about the Mackenzie Child look, you know they always add this color green in with their black and white courtly check patterns. They either add in the green, the gold, or the red. And so here I'm adding a lot of this green as well as I have my red. And I'm just grabbing some of these and randomly putting them around where I see some empty spots like right here. And I think I need one more in between the birdhouse and between the two birdhouses actually, right? Yes. I think that will be perfect right there. And I'm really liking the way this looks. Stand back and just kind of look here a minute. Now, I think I want to add in a few eggs here just to, again, add in that whimsy to it. Mackenzie Child always has such fun and whimsical things. And so I'm trying to emulate that with a fun and whimsical look also. And here you can see I have some very small sunflowers. So I have three different size sunflowers here, the medium, the large, and then the small. And now this is just some Easter eggs, the colored Easter eggs that you can go and buy at the store. And I just spray painted these all white. And I'm absolutely loving these white. They really go in with the look of everything. We can just kind of tuck that one in there. And I'm loving that. Now this one, I was excited when I got this one and I was happy when I spray painted this one because this one can actually stand. And again, I think that just adds a little bit to the whimsy of it, seeing an egg standing upright. And I had this little tiny bird. I don't even know where I picked this up at, but I found this. And so I'm just going to take this little bird and put it right on the very top of this egg. I think it's just fun and adorable to see this huge egg and this little tiny bird. And here is my Mackenzie Child coffee table tablescape. You can see I added one more thing here, this little rabbit in the little flower watering can. I also painted that, a, oh, maybe a week or two ago, and I picked him up at the thrift store as well. And I have a video on painting him if you'd like to see that as well. And we're just taking a little bit closer look here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, once you're done watching this one, go check out Sewell's channel. Check out the video that she's doing for this. Check out the whole entire playlist and see what everyone is doing to participate in this challenge and you'll get some great ideas on how to decorate your coffee tables. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching.